Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a little bit of a different video where we're going to be talking about the new Two Point Campus DLC, which is super exciting. It's called Medical School. We had some lovely little leaks from the devs and the community managers in the Discord. Make sure you join that if you are interested in the game. It's really fun. There's a lot of cool people in there, including myself. And uh, the devs are all really communicative and uh, the community managers do a great job of keeping things uh, fun and friendly. And it's a very welcoming community, quite possibly one of the most welcoming communities in gaming that I've ever been part of, especially as a creator. So uh, we did have some leaks. I'm going to quickly go through them. So the first thing we got was a, um, it was a, a fire extinguisher and it looks like someone just wearing janitor's overalls and then uh, putting out an, uh, a fire. So it wasn't too much to go on and I was really unsure of what we were going to get. Maybe some sort of janitor school or something like that, but nothing kind of jumping out. The next thing we got was cannonballs. Now this got me going and, and thinking about something that we could potentially have. And the idea I had was something pirate themed. So we've already got the knights and uh, a few other like really quirky little Little courses that we can do but knights was one that was quite thematic you got to do the um, the wizardry as well so I thought okay we've not had pirates so maybe we have like a piracy school where people learn swashbuckling and sailing or something like that I don't know it was a good idea and you know I, I was happy to run with it until we got the next leak and then I was just like well I'm stumped again we have what looks like a psychiatrist's office. Now, it looks very similar to the psychiatrist's offices in Two Point Hospital. And this is where I had the thought that maybe we're going to be doing like a, a nod back. I mean, for a while, a lot of people within the community have kind of wanted to see that, including myself. Something that links Two Point Campus and Two Point Hospital to keep the like Two Point County as a whole as like one unified thing. And it just expands on that law wonderfully. I mean, we've got all of the radio presenters are carrying over. We've got a load of uh, additional characters that are from both games like you know jasmine odyssey and uh, all of the radio um, guys and, and girls as well so you know there's definitely something there that could be expanded on and a link could indeed be made but i didn't know what it would be next we got a beach with some palm trees and you can see in the background of the beach there's some cannons on display as well as uh, a nice little tudor or renaissance-esque um, plaster wall there right in the far background that you can just about make out and this kind of put me back on the theme of some sort of piracy or uh, napoleonic kind of age of exploration and uh, conquest we would be doing something along those lines then we got a nice big pool of molten lava and I don't know what I think, but it lent in with the tropical theme of the islands and stuff, so I was pretty on course here, thinking that we were going to get... The, the fire extinguisher was just a nod to we're going to be going to a hot tropical location, there may be some sort of fire disaster involved, and we've got the lava to kind of expand on that. But now I was thinking, right, okay, it's got to be something pirate themed, surely. And that was certainly helped by the volcano that we got next, and that little renaissance restoration slash Tudory town that is uh, built up in the shadow of that volcano. So I was pretty onto it now and I was thinking, right, okay, it's definitely pirate themed and whatever else we've had is just some sort of additional thing. And then on the same day, by the way, we got the next leak. And this just threw me out of pot because I had no idea what we were going to get anymore. And all of my ideas went out the window because what we have here is a very clearly snow covered landscape with a Yeti in the background. And of course, we're playing the Bigfoot expansion at the moment in Two Point Hospital. So I was thinking, all right, well, what does that mean? What, what does it mean? What does it all mean? And uh, it turns out I was completely wrong because we're getting a medical school expansion and everything that I've thought uh, has been completely blown away. And <laughs> yeah, so to actually get an official DLC launched that does hark back massively to Two Point Hospital is fantastic. It's something that the community has kind of wanted and, and been expecting. And I think it's been timed perfectly. It has been quite a while since we had a DLC announcement. I mean, we've had the nice challenge modes that have been seasonal releases like Valentine's Day, um, Easter and stuff. And uh, the last DLC, proper DLC we had was the Space Academy. So to then get this is fantastic. And it looks like we're going to have a number of different locations and things. But yeah, before we watch the trailer for it, let's just have a quick look. So our new campus locations, of which there are three, we have Lake Tumble, which is very much like a, 
a seaside looking resort uh, with some nice European style buildings. Kind of looks like the French Riviera or something, which is really nice. Maybe something set in the base of like a Swiss Alps. It looks like there's a cable car that goes up a mountain and things, which I think is really, really cool. The map looks amazing. It looks like there's what I would say probably about 10 plots on this one and they all have a really nice little theme to them. But uh, to this day, many of the county's most remote locations have their healthcare provided by a single wandering paramedic, Vitality Johnson. Now, Vitality Johnson is the main character that's going to carry us through this DLC, so I assume we'll be hearing a lot from them in due course. The roaming remedy has been on call for years, performing a never-ending checkup, searching places like Lake Tumble for solitary sickos in need of support. Though it's been on the hospital waiting list for years, Lake Tumble has been lost to the maybe pile, like some knick-knack in a surgery patient. So Vitality thought maybe he'd try something different. He's asked for an apprentice to soak up his wisdom and assist on his trials. But if anyone's getting tutelage, we're doing it wholesale. Open a medical school, spread the remedial word, and one day Mr. Johnson can take a break. Maybe. So Lake Tumble, we already have a tumble in Two Point Hospital. And uh, Tumble, I believe, is actually a mountain region. So what I will guess is that cable car in the picture you see goes up the mountain to where Tumble is. Now, if you remember Tumble, it's actually a, um, a I think it's a ski resort. So this is actually, I would imagine, at the base of um, the, the mountain where Tumble Hospital is located and it goes down onto the lake. So I think that's cool. I'm speculating here. I have not been able to kind of look at Tumble in Two Point Hospital and see if that's actually true, but it's a nice little nod regardless. Next up, it's Molten Rock. The main thing we'll notice is the huge volcano, the unbearable heat and the singed remains of a former hospital. The particularly molten Monday took out the old place, and ever since, sick visitors have relied on sporadic visits from Vitality Johnson alongside the suddenly booming pirate healthcare system. Interesting. So maybe there is something to do with piracy going on here, but I would imagine it's something like um, treasure hunting or something. We will watch the trailer to close this out and you'll be able to see what it's all about. But you do see someone digging up treasure and I think it's a janitor, which kind of leads us into the little mini games that happen within a level where you will have a janitor mining space rocks or your um, students will be digging up archaeological finds and uh, your janitors will mine something and, and find some archaeological um, pieces that you can then sell. I would imagine the treasure hunt thing works in the same way. It's to bring in an extra bit of income for your hospital hospital, which might mean our income on this island is handicapped in some way, so we'll need to be aware of that. I did say hospital there, I meant campus, so the income on this campus might be handicapped in a certain way and we need to use that money from the uh, discovery of treasures and stuff, which is really cool, it does expand on that a little bit more, and again, I think um, this might give us a nod to another island location within Two Point County that we see in Two Point Hospital, so very interesting. Next up is Pointy Peak. Life in the Pointy Mountains is extremely beautiful, but it's also beautifully extreme, with countless sheer drops and absolutely zero medical facilities. Home to clouds, yetis and frigid temperatures, build a medical campus and aid the Bigfoot Foundation's mission to support the Pointy Mountains and all who call its icy faces home. Vitality Johnson holds the record for an emergency deployment to the peak, arriving in three and a half days, a full two weeks faster than the previous time. The Bigfoot Foundation were admittedly a little impressed, but they need better. Build a medical campus and aid in their mission to support the Pointy Mountains and all who call its icy faces home. So this, again, is a very, very much a nod to the Bigfoot expansion, which we are currently playing on the channel in Two Point Hospital. Not a lot more I've got to say for it. It's uh, got those nice icy peaks, but also it could provide a link between Tumble and the Bigfoot DLC expansion where we had the uh, nice hotel that we've just finished, the Overlook Hotel or the Underlook Hotel. I can't remember. Um, but yes, moving on, that's three new locations for a campus, all with different themes and different weather conditions, which will be really interesting. So I imagine our first one is like a basic evergreen location where we don't get too much uh, swapping out of different weather patterns and stuff. Then we have a very hot one, so aircon's going to be needed, and then a very cold one, so heating is going to be needed. All of those things kind of need to be thought about when you're managing your campus. So we have new courses. We have uh, two new courses. So we've got medical school. 
Doctors are learned vessels of life-giving knowledge in snazzy white coats. Traditionally, a medical education involved years of grueling bookwork before practicing medicine. But why not front load the good stuff and learn as you go? It's not life or death, not every time. So this tells me that we might actually be getting some patients to treat. And in the trailer, you will see some very um, noticeable and recognizable uh, illnesses that come onto your campus. So there was definitely lightheadedness in the trailer and a few others that I definitely recall seeing in Two Point Hospital. I think there was an injection room in there as well. And yeah, so that's really cool. So your medical school will train doctors. And then, of course, you have a nursing school. The unsung heroes of the medicinal world, nurses are found throughout the county's hospitals, holding things together in spite of the ever-questionable odds. And you can actually see in the picture here, we do have a, an injection room in action there. Uh, so, yeah, that's really interesting and, and really cool. Then we have treatment rooms. And as you can see, we have someone here who has the uh, Freddie Mercury illness. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, I think it was something star related or something, but yeah, uh, they need to go to a psychiatrist for it. So yeah, the county's wide variety of illnesses and injuries will require a range of different remedies and medical facilities, including the head clinic, the psychiatry, the surgery, the injection room, thumping therapy, and a ward. So you could imagine we'd be getting at least like a few of those different uh, illnesses from Two Point Hospital coming in that our student doctors and nurses will have to treat, which is really, really cool. We also have a few new additional mechanics. We have patient emergencies where our medical campus will be asked to deal with an influx of patient emergencies just like any other county hospital. So that is the uh, crossover of emergency patients that you get in where you get six five or six new patients coming in with a particular illness and you need to make sure you treat them all in a certain amount of time or and that gives you like reputation bonuses and monetary bonuses then we have fire resistance medical equipment can catch fire if its maintenance becomes too low keep machines maintained to prevent fires again this is something that we don't actually see in two point campus so you need to make sure that your medical equipment is looked after in two point hospital whereas in two point campus if a um, like your lecture theater or something doesn't get maintained it just stops working it doesn't burst into flames it doesn't need replaced so that is an extra mechanic that is really really useful unfortunately for them if a patient's treatment is unsuccessful there's a chance they might you know train uh, they might die so you need to train or hire janitors qualified and ghost capture to deal with the problem so we have ghost capture already in two point campus but it's actually only used in the school spirits dlc i can't believe i forgot to mention school spirits that did come after um, Space Academy. So School Spirits was actually the last DLC we had, not Space Academy. Um, anyway, we then get helipads, which patients use to arrive on campus. We can place helipads to help arrange the layout of our medical campus. Now, I imagine that's very much in the same way as the Space Academy DLC had us unlock certain uh, like, pay, like um, transport hubs for our new students. And before we could bring in new students, we had to unlock those. So what do we actually get in all of this? We get three new campus locations, two new courses with six treatment rooms, two new student archer types, archetypes, archetypes, lots of patients and illnesses, emergencies and helicopters and fires, oh my, and lots of new items. It's really exciting. I'm so looking forward to this one. So let's uh, watch the trailer to close us all out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time with more Two Point Compass or Two Point Hospital content. It's been a lot of fun chatting to you guys today and i hope you're excited for the new dlc see you later bye bye choosing what to study can be a sickening task but why choke down the wrong course when there are better pills to swallow at medical school they say laughter is the best medicine but that isn't true if you're actually diseased or currently on fire each day Dozens of two-point citizens trust the county's medical campuses for their health care, citing fantastic reasons such as medical emergency, impending death, and low, low prices. As a student doctor, these sick people will be putting their lives in your uneducated hands. You may be worried, but your patients won't be. As long as you're wearing a white coat, they'll never suspect a thing. So, take a turn for the worse and join us today. 
There's nothing like a taste of your own medicine. Mm. Oh, it's like gravy.